Yay! So it's 2016. Um, it's officially 2016. Like, this is the first of the new year. What's up? Welcome to my channel, by the way. If you haven't been here, I'm Erica. Um, and I like to read a lot. I love it. It's fun. Um, I've set a hefty goal for myself this year. So in 2015, my goal was 25 books. Why, you ask? Because for the last five years, I've been trying to read 52 books in a year, and I couldn't do it. I don't know why. It just wasn't happening. So I was like, forget it. I'm going to split it. I'm going to do 25 books. If I get 26, I'll be happy. And then I read 79. So I actually think I read 80. I think, um, no, I did find one more. So I did read 80 books. Um, so yeah, apparently I'm back on my reading kick. Uh, I definitely read a lot this year. Uh, it's why I decided to start making booktube videos um, because I really like booktube anyway and I like talking books and it gave me a way to do that. Um, so yeah, so in 2016 I've set myself a hefty goal of 100 books because if I can read 80 in 2015 when a million things changed and my life was like all foo ha ha and things were happening, I feel like I could probably do 100 this year. Um, because things are still changing and fun and hoo ha 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 and I don't know, it's interesting and reading just makes me happy so I'm, I'm going for 100 books this year. Uh, within my goals for this year I would like to uh, complete rereading the Harry Potter series. I would really really like to get to Lord of the Rings this year. I've owned Lord of the Rings since the movies came out um, and I have yet. I read half of The Hobbit when I was probably like 16, never finished it. And I started like Fellowship of the Ring when I was like 19 and never really got into it. So I would like to do that. I would also like to finish reading The Chronicles of Narnia this year. Um, that's a lot of stuff to be reading, but those are like fun series that I've had that I'd like to finish reading. Um, I like to do that. There's a lot of series that I have, again, um, that I'd just like to finish reading that I've like been reading and they are, are completed ones or ones that I just want to like catch up with. Um, so as per usual that happens all the time because there's so many series out anyway and I happen to like a lot of series so there's that. Uh, other than that in 2016 it's like up in the air. I'm reading what I want. Um, this month I am reading uh, one of the book hub books uh, for one of my Goodreads groups um, which also works for a challenge that I'm in the middle of which is really fun. I'm doing uh, what they call a team tower challenge. So it's a big giant team and um, everybody reads and the books accumulate points and the points, you know, work toward your team goal and whatever and it's kind of like open-ended. Um, it doesn't end until somebody hits the actual, like, goal amount. Um, so yeah, so it should go on for a few months, which is fun. Um, it's been fun because it's been getting me to pull things off my shelves that I just, they've been there but I haven't even picked up to read, so that's kind of fun. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so 2016 I'm reading 100 books. That's the plan. Um, I also... Oh, I wanted to share. So I had an idea about how I do my videos and I think I'm going to change it up uh, this year. So usually when I finish a book I, I record uh, then that I like finished it so that I do like the wrap up then. And then I kind of like splice them all together to do a video. However, my videos tend to be very long because I talk a lot. So I was thinking instead of doing that since I record them as I finish anyway, I think I'm just going to count down my books. Meaning that uh, when I finish the first book of the year, I'm going to do a book one video and it's just going to be that book that I'm reading and that's it. And that's what I'll talk about in that. Um, so I'm going to do basically mini wrap ups. It's going to be a wrap up for every book I do instead of doing like a monthly wrap up. Um, which I would say I was going to do like weekly updates, but who knows? Sometimes it takes me two weeks to read books, sometimes it takes me two days. So we shall see. Um, but I am, I'm shooting for a hundred bucks. I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to get through a hundred bucks. I'm doing it. I don't care. I don't care if I threw a bunch of graphic novels at the end of the year. I'm doing it. Um, yeah. So that's about it. That's my 2016. That's my goal. That's my only change I think I'm going to do to the channel. Um, I would like to do some more like tags and stuff, like the fun, I don't know where you pick out the books and do the things. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that, but anyway. I keep seeing ones I like and I'm like, maybe I should do that. I might. Who knows? Maybe I'll get more creative with this channel and do more than just sit here and talk to you. <laughs> dancy, dancy. Um, so yeah. I think that's it. So what are your 2016 reading goals? What are you going to read? Do you have any like crazy ones you're doing? Are you going to read like five classics? There was somebody I was watching, um, Novels and Nonsense, uh, her name's Sam. I was watching her uh, 2016 goals and she was saying that she was going to read more classics and do this thing and I was like, that is a lot of goals for one year. Um, but yeah, she was talking about reading classics and stuff, which got me thinking about Lord of the Rings, that I really want to read Lord of the Rings. Um, I don't know why I'm all of a sudden like, I need to read Lord of the Rings, but I keep looking at it going, I really want to read you. Just like that. I need to watch the new Hobbit trilogy too, because I still haven't watched that. Oh, I know. I, 
I saw every Lord of the Rings movie in theaters, but all the Hobbit ones I missed. I'm a strange child, but it's okay. So yeah, did you what do you, did you set your goal for 2016? What how many books are you gonna read? Is there one that like you're dying to read right now? Are there any releases coming up this year that you're excited for? Um, I just found one today because I got tagged in a reading challenge um, on Facebook by like three or four of my friends because I know I read. So uh, it's like ten books, and I figure it's ten less than I'll have to read by the end of the year. So I was gonna do that um, as well. And one of them is to read. Uh, novel that came out in 2016 so I was looking at new releases and there's one by this travel author that I love although his first book took me almost four weeks to read so um his other book he wrote a book called Geography of Bliss um which was really fascinating because he like traveled around trying to find like the happiest place on the earth and it was so fantastic it was just it was funny and he he's really engaging the way he writes and it took me forever to read it but I loved it I loved like every page and every second and it was really fun so he has a new one that's Geography of genius I think is what it's called and he's going around to uh, places where like known gen like Steve Jobs like where he it's stuff like that um known geniuses known like really intellectual people were so that's the one I think I'm gonna pick up to just to do that challenge anyway um it's a little baby reading challenge I don't even you know what I'm just gonna I have it right here I shall tell you what it is because it's gonna be added to my hundred books well not added to it's gonna be part of my hundred books um because I'm gonna do this <clears throat> so it's the 2016 reading challenge I have no idea who did this um, I don't know like who it's through but it's just a book published this year a book you can finish in a day a book you've been meaning to read uh, really like all the books I own yeah a book you recommended by your local library and bookseller or, or bookseller um, which I actually get uh, one of the bookstores that I absolutely love I get one of their, their emails and they always have recommended by the staff in there so I figure I can use that um, a book you should have read in school. I'm sure there's something. Um, a book chosen for you by your spouse, partner, sibling, child, or BFF, which I have my books that, like, the book I'm currently reading is one of my friends suggested to me. Um, a book published before you were born. Easy. Uh, a book that was banned at some point. Come on. I own millions. Not millions, but I really do. I own tons of banned books. Totally by accident. Lord of the Rings is one, so that works. All the Narnia books are, too. Um, a book you previously abandoned. I literally have three. If you follow me on Goodreads, um, which we can be friends, can be friends with me on Goodreads. Uh, I have like set six or seven always on my my, my currently reading shelf because I keep setting them down. There's there's one book in particular that I've been reading, I think since March of last year. Well, yeah, March of last year. I'm pretty sure I started it then, and I haven't finished it yet. So that's probably the one I'm gonna read. Um, a book you own but have never read. Hi. If you're new to the channel, I have three, well, I have two very full bookshelves and, and bags on my floor full of books and a lovely little nightstand full of books, all of which I have not read. So yeah, that's an easy one to do. Um, a book that intimidates you, I've already decided I'm going to read Gone with, Gone with the Wind on that because that book is massive, but I've been told for years I would love it and I should read it. I really like the movie, so... I already, I'm gonna do that. And a book you've already read at least once, so that can be my Harry Potter. Um, one of my Harry Potter books. So yeah, so I'm gonna do that reading challenge, um, along with my tower challenges that I'm doing. I don't think I'm gonna sign up for any more challenges. Last year I signed up for like 12, right off the beginning of the year, and then I got bored trying to do them. So I think I'm gonna do that challenge, and I'm gonna continue with my tower challenge until it ends, and then maybe I'll do a different one at that point. Just because it gets me to read different things on my shelves, um, and stuff like that. So... Yeah, so that's that reading challenge. Um, if you're interested in doing it too, yay. It was on Facebook. I have no idea like where it actually originated. Two different places had it and it was being shared and uh, I was just tagged by a couple friends. So I'm going to do that. Um, that's probably I'm going to start my years doing that. So yeah, so subscribe if you want to see more. Um, like the video if you liked it and uh, definitely comment down below any questions, any things. What are you reading? Do you have any suggestions for me that I should do for this? Like a banned book or one that was published before 1982. Um, that's why I said it was easy. Like, a lot of books were published before 1982. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem doing that. And technically, I can get really technical. I was born in December of 1982. Therefore, as long as it's prior to December of 1982, I can read it and it would just, it would satisfy the challenge. Um, yeah, that's it. That's what I've got. I, I don't think there's anything else. I don't think I have anything else reading related. Nope. Okay, so <laughs> I will... Uh, I will definitely see you in the next one. Um, I'm going to try not to disappear for months at a time this time around. Uh, and I am going to start posting, like, 
for each book I read um, so I can count on my 100 books for the year. Uh, I just think that'll be fun and a little different and hopefully keep them at like this length which is like 10 minutes which is a little easier to watch than when I get to like 30 minutes because I've been babbling the whole time. But if you're subscribing you know this so yay. Um, I will see you in the next one uh, and uh, I'm gonna strive to be more succinct but I don't know. Who knows? That's not really my style. Uh, yeah, happy reading to you. Happy New Year as well. Uh, definitely let me know what your 2016 reading goals are because I'm really curious what other people are doing. Um, like six of my friends at Goodreads are like 190, like one of them's doing 200 books. So I'm like, you're going to read 200? Oh my goodness. Although if you watch Padfoot and Prongs, uh, 08 foot, right? Padfoot and Prongs 08, Raylan, she's on that channel. If you watch her, she read like 145 books in 2015. I'm impressed. Very impressed. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> um, yep. I will see you in the next one. Have a lovely day and a happy, happy new year and happy reading to you.